Two Navy pilots ejected from their training aircraft in Baldwin County this morning in an area north of I-10 after experiencing a problem with the plane. This happened just north of the interstate on County Road 87. The pilots are okay and being evaluated at a Pensacola hospital. Our Hal Sherrick has been on the scene all day and has this story. I was out here under a bush and suddenly this a huge explosion. What Thomas Allen heard was the first sign of trouble with a Navy training aircraft. Within seconds, parts of the plane started falling from the sky. I didn't really look up right then, but then we began to hear things hit. And that's when we began to search around. We found a pitch, uh, pieces of the, the canopies out here and the black boxes over here. There's some type of black box. The incident spanned several miles. You had Allen's yard where parts of the plane fell, the area the pilots came down, and the crash site itself. Those locations spanned about a four mile area. The pilots were found on a tract of hunting land north of Allen Road and east of 87. Parts of the canopy and box with the parachute attached came down at Allen's yard south of Lindholm Road, and the plane itself crashed just short of I 10 on the west side of 87. Because the scene was so spread out and surrounded by woods, there were challenges getting to each site. The pilots were actually located fairly quickly uh, due to electronic devices, but it just took a while to get to them because of the terrain. Other military aircraft assisted in the search for the crash site. According to a statement from NAS Whiting Field, the aircraft was a T-6B Texan II and was operating out of Barron Naval Outlying Field near Foley when the pilots were forced to eject. It's very possible the explosion Mr. Allen heard was the ejection charge as it popped the canopy off of the plane and ejected the pilots. That's according to an experienced pilot that I spoke with. The cause of the crash or the problems leading up to it are under investigation by the Navy. Live in Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.